Secondly, it is important, I believe, that the government look very closely at the impact of universal credit on the supported housing sector, particularly as the rollout is due to be ramped up in the next few weeks. Universal credit in its current form is in many respects incompatible with supported housing. The local housing allowance rate was designed for the private rental sector and bears no relation to costs in the supported housing sector. It also introduces levels of variation through the benefit system across the country, which are greater than the variation in costs of delivering supported housing. This could leave parts of the country particularly exposed and could skew development towards areas with higher funding, not highest need.